<clears throat> All righty. How are you? Oh, I have a hand. Burrows. <coughs> the music here is so cool. My, this is my fucking DS charger. <laughs> Am I stupid? I need my um, my phone charger. Man, that song's cool as fuck. This game's music's just cool as fuck, dude. It's an awesome mix of like fitting, like atmospheric music, but like actually good music too. It's what you want, a fucking soundtrack, man. Come on, turn it up a little bit. Might turn it up a little bit. I do have things pretty damn low. I don't need it that low. My voice at 7.5. I'm gonna be a little too much on. <clears throat> yeah, probably. And a little too much, man. Perhaps a little bit. It'll be at too much. This might be all right. <clears throat> of the cold world. Sarasvati. Now's Bufu dying, and it's coming, so good. Lazai dying, okay, awesome. I want to keep listening to that song, man. Me how? Nah, me me. Mazama. Been kicking a lot of ass lately, man. Yeah, that's probably fine. Because I don't plan on having any like melee focus. Welcome to the well, then. Now. Dominion. That magic. Holy shit. Nah, we can't. I'm not getting rid of her. Rook. Now well, we could do this. Prison's not terribly important. Zydine, Magadine, Fire, Electricity, Force, Zama. Let's drop Force, actually. At least Pluroma. Yeah, the Kaja, Acid Breath, Meteorama. Yeah, I think that's good. 
It's gonna be the, the high electricity kill. Or would I rather have the force? No, I, don't, I only have the low level. I just have Zonma, not Zon. Zon dying. Yeah, this looks good. Nice meeting you, my brother. Size, mum. Always the look. This one, man. Like, I'd be, I'd be the one getting fucked by that, man. Fuck till I am dead. I mean, it's a pretty seductive look, man. It says so much with so little, man. He can say so much with just one eye, man. A star boy. I know the passes are like gross looking here, but in the battle menu, they don't appear, so I don't really care. I try to put the passes in right away so I can just think about skills I actually would have sacrificed. Like, I'm not getting rid of Noel and electricity and fire. I know he has drain, but Asmodeus isn't going to be one of my last guys, so I'd rather keep Noel's all the way up. Still looks badass, man. I am in your care. Be better without the voice, as usual, but. Yeah. They're gonna go see that movie tonight, hopefully, at uh, 10, so I'll probably stream for another eight and a half hours or something. At least. So uh, I didn't know really what to do with my app points. So I decided I'm just going to put all the rest of my app points into uh, getting fusion booster. That way I can just have stronger demons by the end I guess. Sounds like the best way to just get more power. Oof. Um, I thought about doing fundraise. It was really good in Persona 5. And there's some really expensive shit at the store. But I might have enough money to buy the hero ring. And then after that, I'd probably just use like the DLC armor. Because it's about the same. It'll just save us the money grind. Because I could do the money grind quest. I don't really need fundraise. 
I don't want to like survive on the, the fuck farming quests though. They're not really a normal part of the game. I guess the DLC armor isn't either. We won't do like XP unless we grind at all. Like if I need to grind like a couple levels, we'll just do it the quickest way. But I won't overgrind. I don't think we'll need to grind at all though. Really, I just didn't know what else to do. I mean, I don't care about auto pinpoint. Demon analyze is like. I guess it's cool, but. I mean, HP recovery is useless. Expand stock is like. I mean, I'm always combining out, so it's not really useful. And it's cheap. Skill smoother is cool, I guess, but. The shit that really eats your mana is the gigantic, like, 40 cost spells, and it's not gonna save that much. Demon Enhancer would be good if I was grinding a lot. I mean, I could just buy the magic one. Just a little more stats, but... I don't know if there's, like, a max level in this game. For demons. Skill augment, I mean mutations could help quite a bit. So I think this just makes them happen more often. But I mean, it's still relying on like RNG. I don't care about gifts. I think negotiate unlocks a few new things, but I doubt you can use them on bosses. So who cares? It's really just like fun raise, talk XP boost, which I mean is not necessary. I could just get into more fights. And summon discounts not bad, but if I could just make money, then who cares, right? <clears throat> Let's feel like fusion booster. Get people in my party. Or higher. Yeah, this music's just good, man. It's a great blend of like good music and like good atmosphere. Solid ass soundtrack, man. This cannot be beat. Secret society, do it first. Illuminati, do, 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 do. Can have some medicine. I think it's only like a hundred health heal. It's not even worth the turn. If you need, if you're gonna spend a turn healing a hundred health, then you could do a lot of things probably. Like if that's somehow saving you, then you just fucked up, man. At least that's what medicine was in one of the games. I haven't, I haven't used it in this. I don't know. I don't remember what it's. For an old woman. God damn it. Burrows.
Try to get that person again. The smart. this shit all too hard sometimes man that's not hard they're not a difficulty just luck a little bit too much oh uh, just a little you wouldn't think if they didn't just leave but this is where getting talk XP would be nice, like extra talk XP. These like super long ones. Door is password locked. Why does he think we're like the, the boss Whatever. boys? You performed the harvest properly, right? What do you intend to do with that? Turn it into red pills. Duh. Don't bother me. Hey, you weren't slacking off, were you? Is this all the brains you got today? Brains? Uh, are those brains? Weren't you paying attention during orientation? We raise the people we take from the underground cities here. And when the time comes, we harvest their brains. Specifically, their neurotransmitters. We suck them out every day at the scheduled time. That's the stuff we make the food for the demons with. You know, those red pills? That's what this whole human farm is for. Get it? That's nauseating. I got every single guard to some kind of fucking idiot. There's three obviously unrelated people walking in here who have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> he just decides to tell them every single thing happening. I cannot believe you can be so casually inhumane. Ugh, this is why I hate newcomers. Get used to it and get to work. We're late, Mr. Tayama will be on our asses. It's getting about time to clean up the feces of the seed beds. Don't slack off. This then is what Lilith wished for us to see. Congratulations on completing the quest. Mm hmm. Well. What else is going on here? Is that it? Surely we're not going to get out easy. Maybe you come back down here and fuck shit up in one of the choices or some shit. Who knows? Here goes. Trying to ride the neutral, baby.
Afraid I don't. Oh. Hmm? That sweet scent. Is it only my imagination, or is it growing more pungent? Come to mention it. <laughs> A demon. That sweet smell is the product of this demon. Quickly, prepare yourselves for battle. <sighs> Walter? Yeah. I'm Walter. Love Guardian. Son of a fisherman. But I'm scared of fish. I must go tell everyone. What? Oh, how cowardly of you, dashing off without me. And I'll admit something as well. In all candor, I am a cat. Meow. This floor is so <laughs> yeah, delicious. Yeah, so Magatsuchi. Yeah. That's pretty great, Magatsuhi. Oops. Demon? Uh, it's always like this. Demons here, demons there, demons, demons, demons. It's also. Is this uh that bitch's voice in Persona 3? Like the big bitch friend? The best she's got. I don't think so. Come. Okay. It's yeah, kind of familiar, team. but uh, not not fully. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, so my God, see. Are you awake? Thank heaven. Your madness was quite the sight to Vol -pol -pol. see. Vol Oh yeah, I remember we mentioned that a few weeks back. Doffing your pants and then doing that thing with your nose. That's quite enough. Good morning, samurai. I see you enjoyed the scent of my Yasuo Magatsi. Oh, and I'll be taking these back. What were you doing down there? Yuriko's still alive and kicking. That Yuriko told us a curious thing. She said that you're the true evil. And I understand what she meant after paying your utopia a visit. Being labeled a true evil by a demon. Quite an honor, wouldn't you say, Mr. Tayama? By a demon? You mean that Yuriko's a demon? What group's she from? What the hell is Mastaba doing? I see. Bitch, you don't know. You didn't see how horrible it was in Tokyo when the firmament appeared out of nowhere. You seen the busted up buildings all over the place? That wasn't all demons who did that, you know. Most of it was humans fighting over food and electricity. When people get backed into a corner, they stop thinking about the consequences. They don't think twice about their fellow man when their own lives are on the line. The unclean ones. They're like demons. That's a good example, kid. Humans who think of nothing but themselves are exactly like demons. You're right. Humans are weak. That's why I built my utopia. Why I'm protecting them from the demons. Humans are weak. Face the facts. We have to live with the demons. We can't move to anywhere else. So if we're going to survive here in Tokyo, we need to help each other out. Mm -hmm. I keep the demons sweet with red pills for the sake of everyone living in Tokyo. We give demons food, the red pills, and they promise not to eat humans. But there's still like millions of demons out there, man. What the fuck? Doesn't seem to work very, very well, man. Oh, my arms are cold. I want to get my hoodie. But I know I'll get hot eventually. It's a reasonable system, wouldn't you say? We patrol the streets so the demons don't get into the underground cities. The people underground don't know anything about it, so all they do is complain to us. 
If everyone had humanity's best interests in mind like I do, maybe we wouldn't need the red pills. Sadly, there are people in this world who can't do that. So, we need to get those people to make their contributions to Tokyo some way, right? And thus the people of the underground cities become fodder for your red pills? We make sure to set them up with the kind of life they couldn't dream of down underground. And we always hold the highest respect and appreciation for their noble sacrifices. Huh. Was that intended as a joke? So the masses live on the backs of the minority? That's quite the utopia you've built. Have you ever considered how your sacrifices feel about this? If you don't got the guts to get your hands dirty, you don't get to say shit about it. I'll let you go today, but don't forget to kill Yuriko. Nobody's going to protect the human world but humans. You got that? I won't go easy on your asses next time. Let's go so you can make a decision. <laughs> Who cares about that guy anymore? <laughs> I figure they're long done giving a shit about that asshole. Been captured for fucking how long now, man? Are you satisfied now, Walter? I can empathize. I truly can. I loathe that Tayama as well, but task at hand for us now is to eliminate the Black Samurai, Lilith. <clears throat> is killing Lilith truly for the best? What? You... Have you taken leave of your senses? Oh, um... <clears throat> it has been some time since we last spoke, young samurai. It is I, Abbot Hugo. Um, uh, not that much. There's a few. Ding Dong Dolls in the first one. It's probably the dumbest city. I mean, it's just cutesy fucking fantasy bullshit. Yeah, I think Nine Dolls in one. It's the one in the desert, I think. Maybe. I have a message from a certain someone. King Kong Dick. Return Big old to fucking cop. Very well. Jonathan, Walter, let us focus on our duty. Mm. Odd though, Sheen Duke, what task could await there, at that nominal holy land? It is miles from anything. I'll register that as a new quest on the list. Fucking ding dong dong, ding dong ding 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 ding. Is it booze a weeb? She is, dude. So can you get her manga volumes? Like all of them? I found the fifth volume, but she wouldn't take it until she got the fourth volume. I didn't know if it was a joke or if it was like a a real thing. When do we find out the church is bad? Just a scripted thing, okay. <clears throat> Show her being a weeb some more. Got that too? Okay. Yeah, next to the black market or the free market. Members only market, excuse me. Oh yeah, it'd probably be pretty cool soon, like, it's not that some of these places are more accurate, you know? Like, I'm sure there's a few that are actually made correct, like, just how they are in reality. Having, like, an apocalyptic version. But for me, it's kind of cool, too, because it's not, like, familiar, so it's just kind of this cool, like... Like, modern, futuristic, 
I like Apocalyptic City. <clears throat> Feels like overly familiar. I don't know. I wonder if it'd be as cool. Uh, it's probably just because, like, Tokyo is cool. But I don't live there. If I lived there, it wouldn't be a very cool city, probably. I really dig the environments in 4, yeah, I like it a lot. I think the atmosphere is awesome. Actually, I like this. And I like that it's all dark. Because of the city, like the thing on top of the city. If you've got business, then hurry up and spit it out. It's a cool concept. And they deliver on it pretty well. It'd be really cool to see like on like a console or something. With a little more, uh, you know. If you've got business, then hurry up. It's open. We both see each other alive again. Oh, our budget going on. Realize the the concept even more. Yeah, like a tree where you gotta go to like a million different cool areas, and they're just kind of big and nice and shit, something like that. But with this concept, oh, it's a really good game. Hopefully Apocalypse is good as well. I think the story is the weak link. Um, I think the dialogue sometimes is a weak link. Some of the shit tries to be like randomly funny. Like some of the dialogue is cool, like with the random NPCs and shit. But I feel like it's always the concepts that are cool. Like the underground human farm and shit, that's really cool, but some of the dialogue, like, kind of is whatever. They also just kind of bring you the law versus chaos thing, kind of like, I don't know. Uh, it feels a little too just flat. Like, oh, it's about time to do law versus chaos. Here we go. And then, you know, like, you have this. You have the world building and it's really cool and like the shit on top of the city, but yeah, it's fully realized. Like the concepts are awesome and what's there isn't bad, but sometimes it feels like you're just along. I don't know, that's hard to explain. Like they're kind of going through the motions a little bit. Like maybe they could explain the um, the factions a little more and make the characters a little more interesting. I mean, granted, story doesn't matter much in these, but this game tries to have more story than SMT3. So it'd be cool if like what was there was really solid. And I don't hate what's here at all. I think it's fine. It's just not enough. There's a lot of story that's actually just tied to the random NPCs. Like, all their dialogue changes half the, like after story quests and shit. And there's actually quite a bit of like important information they don't talk about. Yeah, for sure. 3 doesn't try to have like too much story. It's a lot more about just exploring and the atmosphere. Well, you knew the players, you knew that they're, you know, they tell you from the start, like, there's going to be different factions and they're fighting for a new future, whatever the fuck. You know that, so you're kind of exploring, meeting the factions, and then they do their, you make your choices, and then that, like, that's it, you know. And then True Demon Ending, it just plays off that even more. And it's like, it's simple, but everything that's there plays off the concepts they tell you right off the start, like, that's it. I don't know. And this, they try to make it mysterious. They set up this crazy setting. It's a lot more about the world building. They have a bunch of different characters who have a lot of cutscenes and talking. So it's a little less. Boom. Yeah, I don't think voice acting is really good. I think in something that's really dark and atmospheric like SMT, you have to really be careful of voice acting. Give it a distant feeling, yeah. 
Because voice acting can really set the... I don't know, set the, the atmosphere a certain way. Like, it like a Souls game, you know? The voice acting that's there is, like, always really weird. And the dialogue's really just odd, and there's not that much of it in general. Like, if you just had people just fucking spouting shit off of that, it would be over, like, right off the bat. Like, the old SMTs, like, 1 and 2, the atmosphere is great, but and it's just, like, you know, these guys sitting at you from really far distance, like, obscured a bit. You, you know, just like in this game, you can't really see them, like, very well. It's always, like, super dark environments and serious as fuck. And there's no, like, weird voice acting to, like, jump you out of it. That's why I want to play those. The atmosphere looks really cool and wanted to. Like this one. Three's atmosphere is kind of its own thing, I feel like. One and two seem a lot more like this. Like, the idea of having voice acting isn't bad, but... Yeah, Strange Journey seems really cool. That's another one with an awesome concept. With the fucking crazy shit going on in Antarctica. I'm really looking forward to it. Not being in Tokyo and shit would be kind of refreshing. Although this one really sets it more in Tokyo. Like... SMT3 is in fucking Tokyo, but I mean, you're just flying through like crazy ass environments that are just totally fucking have nothing to do with Tokyo, you know? It's like way more just wild shit, which is cool. Like, I mean, you got like the hospital and you got like all those places and Ginza and shit, but it's not like, you know. It's not like this where everything is more grounded. I mean, overall, this game is really great. It's just a couple small things, you know, very small tweaks I would change. Now really, they could just have changed really quick if they're thinking about conceptualizing it right. <clears throat> Other than like the story as a whole. I think too much of this game's world building and shit is in like the NPC. And the NPCs aren't really that prominent, you kinda of have to go out of your way to talk to a lot of them. I think the NPC dialogue is really cool. I think maybe they could have some of that in the main story too. into that. that was too bad. That's so fucking stupid, man. The guy is supposed to know that shit. Yeah, I'm definitely playing it. I'm pretty excited. I just gotta do Apocalypse. It'd be weird not playing the sequel to this and playing a different SMT game in between. I guess it wouldn't be that weird, but... I need to get as many as I can out of my belt. What is with my bangs right now? Fuck.
How long ago was it? It has voice acting. Oh, the new one. Oh, I mean, it's got like a new character too. I don't know what all is changing. I mean, if it's like Rainy Historia, then it's fine, you know. If they changed quite a bit, not. Nah, but it seemed like it was for the better. I can't tell if I could survive another hit or not. We'll find out. I mean, I'm still gonna play it. It's like, I'd rather play a remade version. I just hope they don't fuck it up. Some of the art's already looking different for the worse, like the cover art and shit, but... I'd like to think the sum of all parts, like, would be better. Even if a couple things are lacking, maybe, in atmosphere. Surely all the art will get a little crispified. Maybe the music will be a little clearer. I don't know how the new story shit would be. It has the original art for the main characters. Yeah, I saw that. They don't look as good. I saw that a while ago. I don't know why. What, did they just not have, like, the rights to a shit? That's one of those things where a lot of remasters and remakes do. Where they just change shit to change it. Where they think, well, hey, it looks different now. That, you know... People are gonna think that since it looks different, that means it's like, you know, remade. It's a good remake. Oh, what? It's different. I'm gonna go play it because it looks different. That, like, people just assume a different is better. Like sometimes, like new is always better. You know, people are always like new is better. How people put that shit in like stores and stuff, and their fucking products, even though it's the same shit. You don't need to change shit like that, man. Like music and stuff. Like, Chris will find what's already there, sure, but like, fully remaking shit that just doesn't need it, like, nowhere to spend your time, man. I don't know, we'll see. We'll play it. I mean, I'm gonna play it, it'll be the new thing anyway, so... You guys can... Welcome. Tell me if it's what better or worse if you don't end up playing it yourselves. Again. I'll sell some shit. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> some people do weird shit to their art. I've seen people get worse with their art too. I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, it, a lot of it could just be stylistic changes, you know. What do you want to sell? I'll give them that, right? Maybe their style is different or what they want to draw is different, but Some people really do just like focus on the wrong shit And their art gets worse for it Thanks. What do you want to sell? Which is really odd Like, man, if you're gonna improve your art, at least, like, I don't know, maybe take in, like, opinions or something, just, like, analyze what, what needs improving? I mean, everybody has their own style of drawing, maybe it just develops over time. Right, I'd have to see the shit.
do you want to sell? Thanks! What do you want to sell? Not you. <laughs> the Bruce got on. Brucey baby! Too bad she blocked you, that doesn't make much sense. Yeah, that's the problem is, I mean, I mean, you shouldn't take everything you hear online as, like, fact and, like, change everything you do every time you hear any criticism. But you should be, like, try to be smart enough to realize what is right or, like, maybe pull in a lot of opinions and, like, think about shit that could be changed. And I guess it just depends on how malleable you are, like, any other business I can this person, how much you take, like, people's opinions and shape your way of living around them. I think you gotta be careful with criticism. Some people's like entire, I mean you look at a lot of like western games and shit like they'll try to listen to the fans too much and then there's not really like a whole lot of vision left for it. It's very sterile, tries to please everybody kind of thing. <clears throat> that's a lot of western gaming as a whole but I mean that's more like they're trying to make a lot of money than anything. Like test chamber fucking shit. What do they call that where you get the target, you, know, you, you get the, the groups think together or whatever and try to target everything. Yeah, I mean Japan's got a cool idea for it and that's why there's a lot of like really unique shit out of Japan. That's why there's a lot of shit too, I mean like pseudo shit, it's kind of... You know, whatever, but uh, I mean, goddamn, at least it's his own fucking vision, and it's unique, then you can prove on it. You gotta listen to criticism a little bit, or it's actually, like, good. Like, if you guys came in here, like, dude, your volume balance is shit, dude. I can't just be like, just fucking, uh, man, motherfucker, like, that's real, dude. Like, that's a real thing. <clears throat> if a bunch of people said that, you know, I could be like, hey, do you guys think that's right? You know, I could ask around, like, you know, you think this is, should be changed, this is shit. Somebody's like, dude, all this black space on your fucking stream, man. You know, I don't like, I'd be like, fuck you, dude. It doesn't hurt you at all. Like, it just, it's clean, looks fine. That's like more of a subjective thing, like having like overlays and shit, like, it's not necessary. Some shit's like real, you know? I don't know. It's a really hard thing, I guess, taking criticism correctly. I mean, I doubt I do it. I mean, I'm probably way too easily influenced by shit. <clears throat> if I was like an artist. Who knows? I mean, I don't mind. Yeah, it's like, I could fill the background, but it'd have to be pretty much the same thing I have now, but just like textured. It'd be like just something super dark and you would never notice it hardly, but just a little bit of texture just to look like I tried. But I think, I mean, just black space is good, man. Like it just, it always works. Like it's just there. Like it, it doesn't get in the way. You don't look at it over the game. It's not contrasting shit. Like people think it's like lazy, but like I really make sure to set like all the space up just the way I fucking want it. I get pissed. Like there's a fucking like, couple pixels right here off and I'm fucking triggered by it like I try to get the windows just right I think having overlays and shit is totally fine that's cool for you that's cool for the people who do it it's totally cool but like I've always been a big fan of dark non like intrusive just Maybe low contrast like really minimal designs on my stream <laughs> Like, I don't, I, like, maybe I could do, like, a camera border, just really dark camera border, just some, looks like it's got some edge to it or something, I, I don't know, but. Like, it's easy on the eyes, you focus on the game. I try to fill the space how I can, like, the camera gets a little bigger sometimes, but I don't want the camera to be so big, that's, like, I'm, like, too much of a focus, like, I'm stupid down here, like, like 
like I'm a part of the stream, but I'm not the focal point. You know, I don't need it to be like, you know, like, oh man, I could, I need to fill, I need to fill the space, bro. Like, yeah, this, this is fucking awesome, dude. Really, really great. Really fucking enjoying get this fucking idiot. On my mouse, man. Social media plugs, yeah, dude. I <laughs> need just slap shit everywhere. I mean, I don't mind throwing like one picture in there, like that kind of stupid shit, but I this a little bigger. My biggest D, biggest bit donation, yeah. That's what people think, they're like, dude. It's like, everybody thinks that because there's empty space, they have to fill it. Like, that was how I was when I was, like, really young, like, doing, like, visual shit. Like, at school or something, I was like, I have to fill this space, man. And it's like, you really don't. Like, yeah, you want to fill a bit, but, like, you really don't need to fill every bit of space, man. I've been reading out subs or donations. They have a bot that whispers someone if they sub. I ask if they want to read it out. If they do, I can send Kyrie to read it out when I can. I think he's streaming less gaming. Yeah. I mean, that's a problem when you've got that much money coming in. <laughs> I would never do that because, I mean, I get a sub like, you know, I just get the you know, subs you know, every now and then or like a donation every now and then. It's not very intrusive. I have thought that maybe even the the messages are intrusive sometimes. And I like with cutscenes, I should really like have a way to turn them off during them. But it doesn't it doesn't happen that often. It doesn't cause much of an issue. If I ever had more people coming in doing shit like that. Maybe I would make like a, a version of the, like a scene select that I could just switch to real quick. I muted everything, but I don't know. It's not, I don't think it's an issue for me. If I had like 1 million subs a second, like those guys, sure. All right, bring them out already. No praise those, those are boring. I don't like watching just somebody sure bring more just get their, get subbed the whole time. Well, dude, like Zeke, they do like these huge, like, like every time there's a sub, they sit there for like, you know, like a full minute, like thinking I'm like, that's cool as fuck. That they, you know, appreciate people and stuff, but people aren't assholes. They understand that their stream still gotta go. Like I just try to thank people as it comes and I usually try to thank people like throughout the month randomly. But I don't wanna be like overbearing about it. Cause some people don't even want like, yeah, their like messages read or anything. I just try to be casual about it. I don't like overact or something. Oh, thanks, bro. Every fucking like minute. I gotta try to be real about it. Like, you know, I appreciate everybody here. Boys, all my friends and shit. It's like, you know, people understand that. I don't need to ride everybody's dicks. That annoy them. Like, it means a lot. I hope sometimes it doesn't look like I just don't give a fuck. Like, oh, yeah, money, baby. Oh, I love it. But, let's try to ride that line, man. I don't have enough where I'd have to worry about, like, super intrusive shit. I mean, mine does pop right in the middle of my thing. I just don't go around there get everyone watches their movies. Ah, um, yeah, but yeah, I like the clips side. It's a little different, right? Like, if you just didn't thank anybody that subbed you or donated, I, you would probably lose shit. Like, in a lot of those big streams, people sub and donate, like, for those, like, bits of attention, you know? They'll give out subs and shit. Just to get, like, an accolade, pretty much. From the streamer. Not everybody, some people are just, I mean, just cool like that, it's fine. I mean, that's not everybody, though. that's just some people sub right there. It's a weird balance, man, you know? Like, you can't please everybody. But when your entire stream... I've saved pretty damn recently. 
But like when you're always banking people non-stop, that is a point where I feel like you gotta stop. <clears throat> if your stream is just like a quick thank you, and that's like it, and then maybe you do a little something extra way later, like at the end of the stream or after the stream, that's cool, you know? But if you do like this minute long like thing like Zeke every time somebody subs during all points of the game, that's a little much, you know? That's cool if you're like as big as me and I just stopped the game right now. I thank you for like a minute, you know? And then I did that like three times a month or something, right? I don't think that's a big deal. But if you get too big, you, you, need, to, you need to evolve the stream. Because you still want it to be fun to watch. And fun to play, like, Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm sure they appreciate people who sub, but I mean... Thanking people for eight hours... Could get old? <laughs> There's probably a more... Cute way to do it. I mean, but at the end of the day, people are giving you money, so I mean... You, you should thank them if they want to be thanked. Who cares if it's like annoying after eight hours? <laughs> but there are people who are watching that you make money from, even if they don't donate, like you get views from, might matter too. 